Climate change is not just bad for the environment, but could be a health hazard in the decade to come. A new report from the Federal Government's Climate Commission has found rising temperatures will not only affect air, water and food quality, but put growing pressure on the health system as humans struggle with extreme weather and infectious disease. Professor Tim Flannery is the Chief Climate Commissioner. Well, look, the impacts on, on health in this country are going to be quite diverse. Uh, the projections are that as, as conditions warm, the number of heat-related deaths is going to increase over time. But there'll also be changes in infectious diseases, so things like dengue fever, fever look like they will move southwards. Um, there'll also be impacts on, on mental health as people become stressed as these conditions change. So there's a great diversity of impacts. The number of days over 35 degrees in our capital cities is expected to skyrocket and be particularly bad in places like Darwin. You touched there on mental health. How serious an issue will that be? Well, look, I, I suspect it'll be quite a serious issue. Um, I've lived through several heat waves, and when I was living in Adelaide uh, some years ago, there was a heat wave, and we saw their conditions got so severe that, that some of the elderly became confused and were turning their thermostats up rather than down on their air conditioning, which just exacerbated the problem for them. So things from that through to farmers who are facing what seems like an endless drought, uh, those, those mental health impacts, um, I fear, will, will continue to grow. Has the whole climate change issue come off the boil a bit, both here and internationally? Look, there's never been so much action on climate change internationally as there are today. Australia was the 89th country to take action on climate change when it passed its legislation a few weeks ago. Uh, the Copenhagen Accord, which came out of the Copenhagen meeting a couple of years ago, has seen you know, the overwhelmingly uh, large number of countries start to take action. So, no, things, things are moving ahead. Of course, they could always go faster and they need to go faster in future, but we have at least started now globally dealing with this problem. Climate change is coming. Can the health system actually do much to prepare for these health hazards? Well, the Australian uh, Medical Association and the Nurses' Federation and a number of other health bodies in Australia have been aware of this issue for some years and have been doing their own work on it. Uh, they all support this report and we hope to just bring their work a bit higher profile because uh, we do need to make sure the resources, the health resources are there uh, to anticipate this, the sort of impacts that we fear in future, uh, particularly in remote and regional Australia. We need to make sure people are protected. So uh, we are moving, but we need to adapt to the changing climate in terms of our health services as well as reduce our emissions so that we minimise the impact over time. Professor Tim Flannery, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.